this man just went from not throwing one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six touchdowns in one game to fast forward to now, he's transferring to a community college. What's up, guys? Welcome to NAB TV. No more defeats TV. All we do is win, never take any losses. And shout out to my boss, guys. If you love talking sports, this is the channel for you because we talk about sports 24-7. Real quick, shout out to all my Madden players out there. If you play Madden, you like to watch Madden streams, you think you're the best Madden player out there, make sure you hit the link in the description. Take you over to my Facebook gaming page where I stream every Tuesday and Thursday night. You can watch the stream or you can challenge me and we can play live on the stream. I love to play. You already play a couple of my subscribers. And even if you don't follow Madden, just hit that link in the description. Go over to my Facebook page. Follow it. It'll help me out a lot in the long run. But let's dive into this. Jerry Williams is playing for Garden City Community College. This was confirmed last night by Manny Navarro when he tweeted out, I can confirm through a source that Jaren Williams will be transferring to Garden City Community College. This is interesting to me because a couple months back, it was a rumor that he would go to Western Kentucky, which I thought was a great idea. When you look at Western Kentucky, they're used to having transfer quarterbacks. They got a wide open type of offense, but instead he's going to Garden City Community College. Don't know a lot about Garden City's uh, offense, what they run, and this and that. But I do think Jaron Williams has the talent to play at that level and to play well. But let's let's rewind it a little bit because I think a lot of people are wondering how do you go from the U to JUCO in one season, and not just from the U to JUCO. You went from starting from the starting quarterback of the Miami Hurricanes to going to a JUCO. And basically, for a lot of people who don't follow the program, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Jerry Williams, I'm going to be honest with you, he had an up and down tenure at Miami. When he was in freshman, he got in trouble for violating team rules. There was rumors for failed drug tests and things like that. Those are rumors. I'm not for sure. Can't confirm or deny. But we do know there was a violation of team rules where he, where he didn't travel with the team. At the end of the year, his dad came out and said, hey, we're getting the hell out of here. He's transferring. Then Mark Rick had to talk him back into coming back. He comes back. He competes for the starting job. Tate, they bring Miami brings in Tate Martell, uh, Nikosi Perry, three-way competition. He wins that competition. He starts, and then basically he doesn't take advantage of that team. A lot of people that watched that Florida game said, hey, we think Miami has a, a bright future at the quarterback position with Jan Williams. They just got to get that offensive line set because the offensive line didn't do him any favors at the start of the season. But as the season started to go along, we saw Jaron Williams holding the ball too long. Jaron Williams staring down receivers. And the most glaring thing is that at times, Jaron Williams didn't have the arm strength to really stretch the field, to really scare defensive coordinators. I remember Virginia Tech quarterback come or Virginia Tech defensive coordinator coming out saying that, that hey they weren't afraid of the deep ball because of how their quarterback threw the ball and things like that and as the season went on up and down just like his tenure at Miami he started some games he got benched um, there was rumors of him skipping practice there was rumors of him going out to party uh, he throws for six touchdowns one week loses to FIU another week plays in one of the worst quarterbacking games against Louisiana Tech that I've ever seen in my life. No exaggeration. And now we're at the situation that we're at now where he'll be headed to Garden City Community College. And here's what I think about that. It can go one or two ways. Jerry Williams has talent. He was a four-star coming out of high school. He shows flashes at Miami. Like I said, six touchdowns in one game. That's, that's amazing. I don't care what anybody says. So it could go one or two ways. Either A, he's going to get to Juco and he's going to hone in on his craft. He's going to do great things. He has two years of eligibility and then he can see about playing at the next level. Or B, he's going to get there and realize what I realized when I decided to go to Juco. It's not a lot going on in Juco. It's nothing to do. That's why I myself didn't last at the Juco level because there was nothing to do. So, Jerry Williams, he's coming from Miami, where he's where he's the starting quarterback. He's the life of the party. He's living la vida loca. He's doing things big time. But he's also getting into some trouble. He's also skipping practice. He's also what, rumored to have been smoking the green. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, man. So, it could go this way. He get there. He gets caught up in the juke. He gets caught up 
to whereas he doesn't uh he's not as motivated as he was and things like that and things don't go well i hope this is just me i always root for the young man whether you go to miami you go to lsu you go to this school you go to that school i don't want to see anybody fail and i really wish jaron williams i hope because i think he does have talent i hope he gets to garden city community college he buckles down he hones in on his crafts and he does work but what do you guys think do you think a is gonna happen where he's gonna hone in on the craft and do work, or B's gonna happen, he's gonna get to that JUCO level, realize it's not a lot popping at the JUCO level, and uh, he's gonna get caught up in the off the field stuff, kinda like what he did at Miami at, at times, with some things to do, he got caught up in that off the field. Well, let me know what you guys think, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the comment, and I'm out, peace, no more defeats, ah. Presence is my being, yeah, stop it, I'm on it